How's it going guys, my name is Luis and this is Slime Sun, a new indie game that's been out for PC and is now out on Nintendo Switch, though it's coming to PS4 and Xbox One in the future. In Slime Sun you play as a little slime that's eaten by a giant worm and surprisingly, inside the worm is a whole town with different wildlife, buildings, and pretty much an entire society. Slime Sun is trying to escape the inside of the worm while also trying to avoid the pink stomach acid that's slowly coming towards him. It's a very cute idea for a story that gives some background depth to the platforming levels in this campaign. Slime Sun's main game is about 100 levels and there's more challenging levels on top of that in the new game plus that you unlock once you beat the first 100 levels. Each level consists of multiple rooms and challenges that puts your platforming skills to the test. Slime Sun can walk, jump, dash, and climb on different platforms. As a slime, he can face through green platforms, but this also slows down time, so you'll find yourself using the power often to time your platforming jumps better and quickly jump while also trying to face through the same object. The start of the campaign is relatively easy with simple platforming, but over time, it gets more challenging, adding enemies and obstacles. These enemies and obstacles are usually labeled with a pinkish color to them, which means they're dangerous or deadly in this world. They also only get more complex as you move through the game, starting off with something simple like just pink parts on the floor ultimately to something like an enemy that follows you shooting out pink stomach acid. Each level has a few minor challenges in itself aside from actually just beating the level. You get a timer at the top of the screen that gives you a goal finish time. Levels actually have an online leaderboard to them so you can actually compete with other players online. Hidden inside the levels are green apples and coins that you can both use as a currency to unlock brand new game items and even characters in the game. So if you haven't caught up, there's a ton of replay value in all these levels to complete the level itself to compete against other players online and to collect all the hidden collectibles inside each one. That's not even accounting for the extra levels in the new game plus that you get once you beat the first campaign and the boss rush mode. Speaking of bosses, at the end of each of the worlds in the story mode is a boss fight. Just like the levels, they get progressively harder over time, and just because I know someone's going to comment, yes, this particular boss on screen looks like a penis, let's just move on. Now, as with any other game in the genre, a big part of a platformer are the controls, and luckily, Slime Sun features really tight controls. The momentum of platforming, climbing, and making jumps just feels completely natural. There isn't any noticeable lag or weird sync issues with the controls, so Slime Sun gets an approval from me in that department. Oh yeah, and if you're playing this on the Nintendo Switch, I'm happy to report that the HD Rumble is used pretty well in this game. You'll find little taps or little rumbles on the Joy-Con that replicate the feeling of a jump you make inside the game. It's really subtle, but it's a nice touch. That brings us to the other sections outside of the campaign. There is a game mode that brings you to your house or a little city area. Here is where you can interact with your family and other characters in town who were also eaten by the worm. The interactions and dialogue you have with these characters are pretty funny. You may even find some easter eggs to some other mobile phone game apps in particular. Outside of the home area is the larger slump town. This is where you can spend all your green apples on really cool customizable items or even brand new characters to play as. The customizable items can be a new set of clothes for your character or something like a new background for the sides of the main game. The new characters usually have a buff and a nerf that completely changes their gameplay style. For example, you might be able to double jump and then your character will walk slower because of that. It'll definitely put a twist on the gameplay if you want to replay levels as different characters. Now outside of the green apples you've collected, you can use the coins you've collected to buy mini games or little arcade games that you can play locally with other friends. These are arcade themed games like a remake of Pong called Action Paddle. Now let's talk about the visuals and the music. Visually, Slime Sun adopts a 5 color palette for its gameplay that really gives it a retro feel. I think it works well in this scenario as the small amount of colors quickly lets you identify what's safe and what's dangerous as a platform when you're quickly doing jumps from object to object. The main gameplay is also displayed in a square block where you get some wallpaper backgrounds on the sides of it. It's very reminiscent of something like an arcade game or Downwell's gameplay visuals. Now major props to this game's soundtrack because it has some of the catchiest chiptunes I've heard in a while. Everything from the music that plays during gameplay to the music during the level select mode, it just perfectly captures the vibes and the tone of this retro inspired platformer. Whether you're playing this on PC, Switch, or in the future on PS4 and Xbox One, definitely play this with a pair of headphones, you'll be thanking me later. So far, Slime Sun has been a pretty great game, but it's not without its flaws. Slime Sun does suffer from slowdown at times, more specifically when there's a ton of fine objects on screen. The one really noticeable section I saw this was when there was a bunch of objects flying in the air and the stomach acid was quickly approaching me. It was significantly more noticeable too because this was a section where I had to slow down the gameplay to platform from certain objects. When playing a platformer like this that requires precise timing, slowdown is a big problem. 
Luckily, it's a rare occurrence in this title, but it's still something I want to warn you guys about. This might also be considered a smaller nitpick for some, but there's a lot of loading screens in this game. They're usually rather short, but they happen pretty often. When you're quitting a game mode, when you're loading a level, when you're turning on the game and just trying to load the main menu, it all requires a loading screen. Even just going to the next room in a level has a transition screen, though that's technically for aesthetic purposes not really because it's loading something. Those are just some minor drawbacks for me, but they weren't enough for me to say stay away from this game. For the most part, Slime Sun is still a great platformer that definitely gives you a challenge without making you frustrated. The music is incredibly catchy with very fitting visuals and a pretty good amount of content for the $12 price tag. The developers have even stated that they plan to bring the already released Blackbird Kraken DLC that's available on PC for 3 bucks to Switch for free via patch. So that's some extra value if you plan on buying the Switch version over the PC version. Slime Sun is definitely a worthy new pickup, especially for fans of the platforming genre or people just looking to get a brand new indie game to play on their Switch or their PC. It's also something to keep an eye out for if you're waiting to pick this up on PS4 or Xbox One. But that's my review of Slime Sun. If I missed a question you may have had about the review or the game, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below or just hit me up on Twitter and Instagram that's linked in the description down below. As always, if you enjoy the content, consider subscribing and maybe giving a like. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. Thank you all very much for watching, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next one.